For Comedy Hype News, I'm Dom Smith. Martin was a show that changed sitcoms forever. Nearly every episode left you with a new catchphrase that would become water cooler talk. The cast blended together perfectly and had chemistry like no other show on TV. Even the recurring characters are just as memorable and loved. An audience favorite was Tommy Strong, portrayed by actor Thomas McCall Ford, who appeared in all five seasons of the Fox sitcom. Tommy was always well-dressed with cash in his pockets, but no one, not even his best friends, knew what he did for a living. This provided the show with one of its longest-running gags. Was Tommy Strong employed? You just happen to have a blowtorch with you. I need this for work, man. I ain't got no job. We decided to take a look into the creation of this long-running joke to see if Tommy really did have a job. Tommy Strong often played the straight man to Martin's ongoing antics. Anytime Tommy referred to his work, an office, co-workers, resumes, all of the other characters responded with, He ain't got no job! This particularly annoyed Martin because while Tommy always referred to being employed, he was never specific about what he actually did for a living. Man, you should be on my side, okay? I got you a job working with me six months ago. Right, and I've been meaning to ask you about that, brother. When do I start? <laughs> In 2016, Tisha Campbell was a guest on Bossip's Don't Be Scared podcast. Tisha said that Tommy really did have a job the whole time. Campbell went on to say that there was an episode of Martin that hinted at what Tommy actually did. The episode was Blackboard Jungle Fever, which was a part of the first season. In the episode, Martin hosts career day at his old elementary school and gets hit on by his former third grade teacher. Tommy really did have a job. I'll give you a hint. The woman I was gonna fight she was Martin's teacher, Beverly Johnson. In that episode, that's the first time you hear about Tommy's job. So Tommy talks about him being in the Boys and Girls Club. He was a counselor at the Boys and Girls Club. That's what he did for a living. Tisha Campbell said that the writers on the show used to sit near the cast during lunch and overhear their conversations. She further elaborated by saying, Tommy was complaining because you know, Tommy is a Shakespearean actor. He said, you know, I don't think they're developing my character enough and no one knows what I do for a job. They keep asking what I do. Why are you always at Martin's house? Why is the door always open? Why are you always there? Do you even have a job? So then they started putting it in the script. Tommy has no job because he was complaining too much. Tommy's job was revealed in season one, episode 17. However, in the show's second season, the running gag of no one knowing what Tommy's job was would actually begin. Ford explained how this joke started. We got back for our second season and we hadn't been back for several months. And we're sitting around doing a table read of the script and the idea comes up. Maybe Martin meets Tommy after work. And Martin stops reading and goes, wait a minute, Tommy, what the hell do you do? He wasn't in character, he was being Martin. He says, you have a job? I said, of course I have a job. And I'm starting to explain, but everyone's like, no, 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 no. Don't explain, we love it. But I'm like, no, we don't love that. I gotta have a job. Tommy later went on to explain why he had a problem with it. My dad was an MP, military police, in the Navy. His motto was, nothing comes to a sleeper but a dream. Get off your butt and do something. For me, the biggest insult I could imagine was a man who had no job. The New York Times published an article in 1992 that said the unemployment rate in America had hit a 15-year high, rising from 8.6% to 10.8%. The unemployment rate among African Americans was higher than any other demographic, 10.4% in 1991 to 14% in 1992, the same year that Martin debuted. With this information, it's easy to see why McCall didn't want to contribute to those statistics and fall into those stereotypes. Which is why he probably fought so hard for Tommy to actually have a job. One of the main controversies that the show was faced with was the representation of blacks in mainstream media. The series was accused of playing up offensive stereotypes. Much of the criticism centered around Lawrence's depiction of his secondary characters. Many thought that the characters of Shanene, Mama Payne, and Jerome were all guilty of perpetuating racial stereotypes. And while the no-job joke was born out of Ford's complaints, he appeared to be good-natured about it years later. He's even hosted actor workshops and seminars entitled Tommy Ford's I've Got a Job Workshop. In one of those workshops, 
Tommy explained how important it was for each character to have a job. Martin, we know the show is about a disc jockey. The girls said, we want to be great examples for young black women. We want to be executives. So they were in a marketing firm. Cole wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. They said, Cole, we want you to be proud of something that most people would be proud of. Why don't you just work with airplanes? They said, Tommy, what is it that you want to do? You want to be an executive? You want to own your own business? I said, not really. I have a passion for young people. Martin was a sitcom that provided lots of laughs and lots of memorable moments for its devoted fans. The cast and crew did their best to create laugh out loud moments while trying to remain responsible and conscious of the product that they were putting out. Tommy in particular was well aware of the negative impact that a black man on TV without a job could have. He probably had the same reservations that John Amos had when he was on Good Times. Did you guys know that Tommy did in fact have a job? Do you guys think it's important to showcase young black men and women working on TV? Let's talk about it in the comments below. And stay up to date with the latest news in comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype across all social media. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Dom Smith.